When it comes to prepping food and cooking food and then cleaning up after, this is an excellent kit for that. Hiker Jay here. Now that I'm overlanding and camping more, I realize that everything needs to be small and compact. There's so much that you want to fit in here, especially if you want a full on kitchen and be able to cook. So I found this excellent kitchen kit that is from GSI Outdoor and I'm going to share that with you today. All everything that's in it, what's so important when you have limited amount of space is to find something that is all inclusive and this thing has everything you need to do your cooking. If this is the first time on my channel, thanks for stopping by. If you could hit subscribe, that would be awesome. I put out new videos every week on outdoor gear and such. And as always, all the products that I talk about in my videos are linked down below in the description. You can click there and go to my Amazon affiliate and learn a little bit more about them. Now, let's break down this kit for you. So as I said in the intro, I wanted a small little kitchen kit that I could keep in my overland or my camping setup. So many times I used to have like Rubbermaids and a bunch of utensils in there that I really didn't need. And I found that this GSI, after using it for about four months has everything that I need to do my cooking, except for like forks and spoons, which are down here more in my kitchen build. If you haven't checked that video out, you should definitely check it out. Um, this was a lot of fun to make and it has served me really well. Um, that video is up here on the, on the right there for you to check it out. So let's get into this. Very small footprint. It has a couple straps on the clips on the back, which you could hook it into something. But basically it's just, uh, you open it from the top and everything's right in there. Now in here you've got everything from like preparing the food to like cleaning up after the food, which is kind of a cool thing when you think of a kitchen kit. So first off, let's talk about the utensils. So there's three of them. There is a spoon, large spoon, which I don't use a lot, but it does have on the inside, it has like measurements for like um, a teaspoon and all that type of stuff on the inside. So if you did need something to measure, it kind of serves as a measuring cup as well. And then we've got the tongs. Um, I use these for a lot of things. They have really good grip on them, so you can really grab something and flip it, uh, making sausage or whatever it might be. And then probably the one that I use the most is this spatula. Absolutely love this spatula. Um, it's serrated, serrated on the side too, so you can cut through things, but you can flip things, make hash browns, pancakes, whatever it might be. Now, with all of them collapsing halfway, you'd think that they'd be kind of kind of weak, but they're not, they're really sturdy. And the last piece on them is that they have this hook on them, which I find really nice. If you've got something like a handle off here, you can just hang it on there and uh, and keep it clean and you don't have to like set it on something and get stuff dirty. So having those little hooks is, is, is really, really nice. So now let's go to what's in here on the back. They have a little cutting board. Um, this is kind of nice if you really want to cut cheese or something and you have to cut it. I have this big cutting board, so I kind of use this, but it's nice to have in there. And then there's a little piece on the inside for cleaning and scraping of pots and pans. So let's move into, actually before we move into cleaning, let's talk about, there's a little salt and pepper shaker in here and you just separate it and I've got salt and then some pepper it looks like I'm running basically out. Uh, but you can go into the bottom of it and you can change different lids to like, like on these right now, I have it where it just is a little uh, pour out on it. So. Right now I've got it where it's just got the holes and things so that it doesn't pour out very uh, very quickly. Um, it's also separated on both sides too, so I could actually have four things in here. I go heavy on the salt, I've got pepper on one side, and I don't have anything on the other side, which I could add something on the other side if I really wanted to. So um, ultimately you can use four different spices in this, which is, which is pretty nice. All right, now in the cleanup. Of course we've got the scraper for cleaning up and then it's got the salt and pepper and the soap stick into these little these little loops here so they don't really skate around and fall around and that really does help having them in place. So I have one that's dish soap and this is just camp suds that I use and then one that is hand soap with like antibacterial. I got kids, they're disgusting. So I've got the hand soap with the antibacterial. Now that's the inside compartment, kind of everything that's there. Now the lid is all about kind of cleaning. So I've got a scrubby which I change out from time to time and a like a chamois cloth to dry um, dry dishes and stuff. So this is kind of my cleaning cleaning setup right there. And then the last thing I have in here, this is what I added, um, is basically a lighter and a can opener, um, just in case I needed to open a can or whatever, but also the lighter. Now my stove has automatic start, but you never know, you might need a lighter. Um, if the automatic start doesn't work, if it's really windy, that can be a pain. So I did throw these in here. I don't know why I have two, but I do. I actually was wondering where this one was, now I know. 
So after four months with this, you'd think that I would want to add something, like I was missing some type of utensil or whatever, but I'm not. This is absolutely excellent. When you look about, I've got the forks and spoons up here in the actual kitchen setup. We clean them and reuse them. Um, but when it comes to prepping food and cooking food and then cleaning up after, this is an excellent kit for that. I think it has everything in it. And it's a small footprint. Like that's the key thing when you're looking at camping or fitting stuff into a Jeep like this and overlanding, you don't want a big old bin of cookware and such. This GSI kit I can highly recommend. It will hold up, it has everything that you need to prep food, cook food, and then clean up afterwards. So if this is something that you're interested in, like I said, there's a link down in the description down below so you can check it out there on Amazon. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. Get yourself a GSI little outdoor kitchen kit. Works great, small, compact, but it'll have everything you need. Take care.